All right, guys, welcome back to the show, and we have our first guest in the building, who is a travel enthusiast. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, good to have you on board. Thank you for having me. And um, I believe the conversation is going to be quite interesting in terms of travel, That's right? right. Uh, he's also the co-founder of Thrillers Travels and their fully automated migration web platform that's built for Nigerians. So generally, we know that a lot of Nigerians want to Jaguar and, you know, September is just around the corner. In fact, we're in September, you know. People are leaving this month, you know, to their various schools, settlements and other things related. So I think it's ideal to start by asking you, why should Nigerians travel abroad at least once in their lifetime? For everyone that wants to rise above mediocrity, they need exposure. So the number one reasons every Nigerian should travel even once in their lifetime is to rise above mediocrity through exposure. Mm. Because people cannot think more than what they see and they cannot aspire more than what they know. The fact that you are here today, every of your imagination and your expectations, your aspiration is based on what you've seen other people do or what you had that someone else did. So if all you based your life on as a Nigerian are the things you've seen in Lagos or in Nigeria as a whole, that means you're a mediocre still. Mm. So that is it. If you want to rise above mediocrity, you need international expositions, definitely. Um, looking at um, the cost of travel, it's expensive, and the cost of even getting a flight ticket now with um, the few subsidy. How can Nigerians really appreciate or embrace the culture of travel despite the very exorbitant price and of travel? Very capital intensive. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now this is it. This is where trailers travel comes in. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, Saturday, second of September, we are launching trailers dot travel as an online web platform that is built for Nigerian and we're sponsoring a thousand people to Canada with visa. Mm, okay. One thousand people for a visa to mm. Canada. Mm -hmm. Now this is this is where we come in for all the ticket and all of that. On our platform trailers the travel, we've got a system for flight ticket. As we are doing your applications for visa, because we are sure of what we put in the embassy through our attorneys of immigration in the country you want to go, we don't do visa from Nigeria. We do it from the country that you are traveling okay. to. Okay. That's number one. We are sure the visa is coming out. Number two is we already put you up on our platform for tickets. So the reservation is there for you even before the visa come out. Okay, we will come no, to so that. No, so the fee ticket mm. is cheap. Mm. Accommodation is on our system also. So we've made the accommodation the cheapest that you can ever find anywhere. Right. Well, we'll, come, we'll come to that. But more importantly, we need to have a conversation about global travel. Beautiful. But let's discuss how embracing global travel can kind of stimulate economic growth and create job opportunities. Whoa. Okay. So let's talk about the... Uh, the country as a whole Nigeria, mm -hmm. we have what they call the GNP and the GDP. So the wealth of every country is calculated by the gross national productivity. That is the contributions of every members of the country in the ec emerging ec economy. So for a country like Nigeria that have some numbers above 200 million people, and we have about, let's say, 100 million people are trading on 1, 1 million era, an assumption. This is not a quote now. Let's say 100 million people are trading on 100 million naira per year annually. We, co we collate that together and calculate this is the capital, this is the GDP of the country of Nigeria. So if 50% of those people now begin to trade in foreign currency called the Forex that we have in this country, and then they are now trading in 1 million US dollar or 1 million pounds, do you see the difference between mm. 1 million naira and 1 million pounds? Mm. So when you now calculate the margin, it's going to take the GDP of Nigeria to the, to the normal global uh, 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 standard like we have in India and China, for example. Let me say this. Eh? Every corner shop in the UK, every corner shop in the UK is owned by Asia, most especially Indian people. And this money is funded by their government. So they are, they are returning the money back to their home country. Okay? So if you combine all the money that Indian people make in the UK, in Canada, in America combined together, it's going back into the forest of the country. That is the deposit, direct deposits, you know, of the people. Mm. Another thing is if you travel abroad, look at all the private universities, 
private medical centers you have in Nigeria. All of those people came from abroad mm -hmm. to come and establish them. Of course, you've got associate. Me, we are building se several industries in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. All where the fund is coming from is from our, is from abroad. So when you leverage all of these things, Nigeria is going to be like on top of our game. Mm -hmm. Financial crisis and all of that will not be our thing again. again. Now let me tell you another one. Do you want to hear? Every country that is built, leverage the capacity of another country before they are built. Mm. If you want to build Nigeria, you need professionals that are trained from where they are built already. To come. To come here with their understanding of building, to come and build the country. Okay. Mm. That is what they do in the GC country. We have the GC countries called the Qatar, Kuwait, Oman, Saudi Arabia. Mm. They leverage the capacity of the Japanese and the German people. They send the, the people, people there and bring them. Yeah. China was busy sponsoring their pupils, their best brains in their university, to, uh, to America, to Canada, to the UK, to go and learn architectural design, to go and learn health management, to go and learn all these things. And then they bring them back in order for them to take the leadership positions and skyrocket the country for mm -hmm. national development. Mm. And you think that that's uh, what Nigerians need right now? You know, the, when we say Nigerians, we're talking about the three tiers. That is the only problem in this country right now is you equipping and empowering the people that are literally not the best fit for the job. So if you <coughs> engage the person that have this capacity from abroad, you know, when original people get from abroad to Nigeria, they get hungry. Mm -hmm. You don't know. Mm -hmm. Typical people, when they come, it is such people that need to begin to pilot the affairs of this country so that we can take it. Someone like me, I get to the airport every time. It's my fatherland. I have, more, I have so many investments in this country, in billions, so I, I'm not going to let go of Nigeria. We will always come. But when we come every time, we'll be like, oh, no. Mm -hmm. You know? So if this kind of people like that begin to, you know, step into some serious okay. uh, position, key strategic position, uh, we will just be the very best. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. we've had... Nice, we've nice. Got... Well, let's look at the, the global impact of um, travel. What do you think the future is? Especially with the fact that COVID has done us a big one. Oh, you know? wow. This year alone, uh, the travel industry, the year 2023, you know, so much just happened. We, we were just like we were constipated generally mm. during the pandemic and then everywhere mm -hmm. was just on standstill. But now immediately everybody began to see the light of freedom now that nature has opened to us. You understand? People begin to... In America today, okay, there's a place called the London Bridge and the Mice Bridge in, in the United Kingdom. They've recorded sales more than mm. what they have in the previous year, 2018, 2019. They've recorded it in this year, 2023. Mm. Do you understand? So we need to even, look, in Nigeria too, look at our tourism industry. Well, everybody is doing well based on their capacity, but we can do more. Okay. And we can generate more. So much more. Many of the countries that we're even aspiring today, we are longing to be like them, like the UAE. This is all they sell. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. It is this travel and tourism in businesses that they sell as okay. a country. Not just them. Even America, the United Kingdom, even Canada. Mm. There was a time. Do you, let me say it the way it is. Because of time. We need to wrap up. Hmm. So I know much, you have a lot to so say. Much, so but to wrap up the conversation, what is your message to Nigerians? Nigerians? Um, yes. Join myself and all our board of trustees from Canada. I've got my office in Canada. I got two offices in the United Kingdom, Portsmouth and London. I'm here in Nigeria at Oriental Hotel tomorrow. Kiki, Sabinos, these people will be your host. Myself and all our associates are taking a thousand people for national development. We are not sending you abroad to go and become a lost generation. We are sending you there to go and get empowered and get equipped. Mm. Then we we'll bring you back to Nigeria for national development. Oh, it's interesting. Meet us tomorrow, Oriental Hotel, 10 a.m. And I'll be your coordinator. I'm the chief talker for tomorrow. Nice. You're going to hear so much. All right, so Instagram? Um, Trillers Travels right. on Instagram. Just come, come, come. Trillers mm. Travel. See so many things we've done. And then, yeah, so Thank that is it. Thank you so much. Thank There's you. a telephone number that they need no, to we'll, call. No, because of time, we'll, we'll put that up okay. after we'll the okay. discussion. So okay. thank you okay. so much, Beautiful. Mrs. for sharing. We would have taken more, but because of time, it was nice having you on the show. Global travel is the word now, so please uh, tap into every opportunity. Um, we'll take a break. Like I said, we still have more coming up on the show, so please don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.